Roku shares are surging as the company teams up with Shopify. Now, Roku users will be able to buy products from Shopify merchants directly through Roku TVs. We're looking at gains of just about 11% here for Roku, Akiko, the biggest gain that we've seen for the company in just over a month. And I was taking a look at some of the reaction that we're starting to get to trickle in from analysts covering Roku and Steven's analysts saying that Roku is now well positioned and a leading a lead in in a leadership position in connected TV's operating system in the US given the strategic partnership with Shopify. Yeah, I mean, being able to shop from your couch seems like a good so nice. bet, uh, right? I mean, a dangerous maybe, but I mean, you know, so, some have been quick to argue that th this has been tried before the home shopping network had kind of a testing round um, specifically with this, but the Roku Shopify partnership and given just Shopify's reach, certainly a reason to get excited, at least for investors. And you see Roku shares are up more than 10%. Uh, Beyond Meat announcing its plans to expand the retail availability of its plant-based product, Beyond Steak. The company expects to bring this into a slew of new stores, including Whole Foods Market and Wegmans. Shares getting a lift in today's trading session. That stock up more than 4% there. Uh, Shana, you know, I keep going back to a number in terms of what this all means for Beyond Meat, and that is the sales of plant-based meat down 28 consecutive months. So uh, beef or, or steak, certainly very exciting. The reach really points to the opportunity, but you have to wonder if that sector has particularly peak, regardless of what kind of alternative meat we're talking about. Yeah, and I think that's largely been the consensus, at least amongst investors more recently. We have certainly seen more short interest on this stock, given the fact that the company has been struggling to really expand its market share, expand its presence within this category. And more broadly speaking, like you were just saying, Akiko, I think investors' appetite here for this category has soured just a little bit, just in terms of some questions about what that growth trajectory is going to look like. We just had the chart up there. We're well off 90% from the peak right now. We know Beyond Meat has gone through multiple rounds of layoffs just within this past year, trying to cut costs, trying to better position the company moving forward. But at least up until now, the demand is just not there. All right, well, Zillow shares closing the trading day higher after Piper Sandler upgrading the stock to overweight from neutral, the firm citing confidence in the future of the housing market, also the ability for Zillow to account for more of the homes that are being put up for sale in the housing market as people do sort of uh, start to favor a more digital type of option. And we know Zillow is one of the leaders here within the tech real estate marketplace. So again, Piper Sandler seeing some room to run here with shares popping just about 9% today, Akiko. Yeah, I mean, that's significant upside when you think they up their price target from 42 to $62. Uh, a number of things here as we look at the housing market broadly, the analyst Thomas Champion saying specifically a decline in home sales likely to have hit a bottom in the last quarter. Mortgage rates have started to stabilize. And then if it's specific to Zillow, uh, he sees a real opportunity here through the premier agent offering there. So interesting to see how that is in relation to where we've been watching the housing market, which has kind of been really leading um, you know, indicator of where the Fed policy has been moving.